my name is Kelly Geck. I am the live animal manager here at the Cook Museum. And today we are talking about sea turtles. Sea turtles are a really diverse group of reptiles that are totally aquatic. All sea turtles actually have a very streamlined shell that is called a carapace, it's on their back. And they have to be able to maneuver through different bodies of water super easy and super efficiently. And that has been their best defense mechanism. So all sea turtles actually can't pull in their flippers and head like our terrestrial turtles can. So they need that maneuverability in the water because that's how they're gonna be able to swim away from different predators. On top of that, they actually have some really powerful jaws and that has been a really great protection for them too. And what's even cooler is that there's only seven species of sea turtles in the whole entire world. In the United States, we actually get to see six of those species come to our coast shores. So let's go ahead and dive in and talk about them. The flatback sea turtle is the only turtle that does not migrate to the United States. They actually only live along the coast of Australia. They are carnivorous animals and live off of a diet of crustaceans and other invertebrates that might live on the ocean floor. And they can reach sizes of two to three feet and up to 200 pounds. And as their name suggests, they can be identified in Australia by their smooth, flat dome shells. Green sea turtles can be found all over the world and are the most widespread of the seven species. In the United States, you can find these guys swimming and nesting along the coast of the southern states, the west coast, and Hawaii. They are beautiful animals with very ornate shells and can reach up to 350 pounds and about three to four feet in diameter. Greens are unique among sea turtles because they are strictly herbivorous as adults. They eat mostly sea grasses and algae. This diet actually causes their fat to be a greenish color and that's where they get their name from. Hawksbills are a very ornate sea turtle species that can reach up to 150 pounds and about two to three feet in diameter. Unlike the green sea turtles, they are omnivorous and can eat a variety of plants and animals, but they are mainly known for eating sponges. With the unique shape of their beak-like mouth, which resembles that of a hawk, they can find food in hard-to-reach areas along the coral reefs. These turtles can be found around the world as well, but they are not as widespread as the greens are. In the United States, they can be found along the coasts of Florida, Hawaii, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Leatherback sea turtles are the largest of the seven species, but they do not have a hard shell like the green and hawksbills. Instead, they have a soft, rubbery shell that is made up of a leathery, bluish-black skin that is more flexible than a typical hard shell. These turtles can reach up to six to seven feet in diameter and up to 2,000 pounds. Because of their size, you would expect these turtles to eat larger prey-like fish, but actually they live off of a diet of only jellyfish, which is perfect for their migratory lifestyle because they are able to find jellies anywhere they travel. Leatherbacks can be found throughout the different tropical oceans and along the east and west coasts of the United States, Hawaii, U.S. Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico. Loggerhead sea turtles are considered to be the most numerous sea turtles seen around the United States. They can be found swimming and nesting along the east, west, and southern coasts of the United States. However, like leatherbacks, they are also famed travelers and they can be seen migrating in all of the tropical oceans. These cool turtles can be identified by their extremely large head and jaws, which is what they have been named for. Loggerheads will use their strong jaws to eat hard-shelled mollusks and crustaceans. And these animals can reach weights up to 350 pounds and lengths of two to three feet in diameter. Olive Ridleys are the second smallest sea turtle species. They only reach up to 100 pounds and only about two and a half feet in diameter. Olive Ridleys are carnivorous and live off of a diet of crustaceans and other invertebrates. These sea turtles are known to have an olive green tint to their shell, which is where their name comes from. And they may be small in size, but they are considered the most numerous of all sea turtle species. They can be found in most of the tropical waters around the world, including the United States West Coast, Hawaii, and along the Southern States. Kemp's Ridleys are the smallest species of sea turtle in the world. They only reach about two feet in diameter and up to 100 pounds. In addition to their size, they are also known to have the smallest geographical range out of all the sea turtles. 
Kemp's are only found along the east coast of North America and into the Gulf of Mexico, and their nesting areas are only found within the Gulf. These little turtles get their name from the fisherman who first discovered them in 1906, Richard M. Kemp. So all of those sea turtles are all such unique, different species, but they do share one main attribute, which is that they look beautiful and captivating when swimming through any ocean of water. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs>